Hey, Canada, Canadians, these are the people that work for you. We just wanted to give you a glimpse. We are led by fools, and I just wanted to share that with you, and you're going to watch them in their daily activity. Here's a story for you. You have paid me very well. This is an employee talking to you, and you're the employer. You have paid me very well. You're giving me benefits beyond belief. I have four months off each and every year in a pension plan that will pay my salary to the day I die, and then my estate will get paid one year salary, death bonus, and then we'll continue to pay my spouse for salary, my salary with increases until he or she dies along with a health plan that most people can only dream of having, right? Despite this, I plan to take the next 12 to 18 months off to find a new position while you continue to pay me. During this time, I will show up for work when it's convenient, now and again, not too likely, many times. Blah, blah, good grammar. In addition, I fully expect to draw my full salary and all other perks associated with my current job. And uh, if this new job that I'm looking for proves fruitless, I'm going to keep on coming back and taking your paycheck from you. And before you say anything, remember that you don't have any choice in this matter. No choice whatsoever. I can and I will do as I want. Sincerely, Member of Parliament kind of sums it up, you know, and that is what they do. They do work for you, if you're a Canadian. I am. They work for me, and they take advantage of us every day. They're meeting here today in one of their little circus things that they do uh, often, and, and this is what they call work, at least, and, and they're giving your money away. They're making rules to take your rights away, and it's an ongoing situation. For instance, if you have a baby woman in Canada, you're entitled now to 12 months off. Okay, so if you're in Halifax and you have a baby and I live in Victoria, the other end of the country, I get to participate in paying you to stay home for a year. They've recently now increased that to 18 months. 32,000 parents have taken advantage of that. Next year, they're projecting it's going to be close to 100,000 families, and that's men as well as women. The woman has a baby and the man can also stay home. We have all this compassion stuff going on, and these people do this. All of the time, they always come up with ways to do stuff. Does it sound nice? It's certainly emotional. Isn't that great? We can stay home and raise our children, but you know what? Take our taxes down and stop giving us free stuff, and we'll be better off. But that's what these people continue to do. They also have a law. They're protected by the legislature, blah, 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 old English law stuff, that they can lie. And they do lie. They lie all of the time, constantly. And when they do, their protection, there's no consequences, and newspapers pick up their lies and they repeat them in the press, and then, of course, it becomes a fact. Fake news is alive and well, and fake news isn't just about the newspapers who print it. It's really, in Canada at least, it's really probably everywhere, but it's really about the politicians who do the lies, and then they expand beyond that. It's not a very nice thing. There are two groups of people that want guns banned. All of these people here, the liberals primarily, and criminals, they would like that to happen because, of course, you know, they control us more. The liberal government in Canada, they're dangerous, they're bad, just saying. I've listened to the prime mistake talk. You know, uh, and wow, I, he'll be coming up here soon, probably. I mean, the sound is turned down, so you got to listen on your own time. But he's full of us and does, and and uh, can't seem to finish a sentence. You know, if he's ever sent to prison for treating his subjects poorly. I sure hope he finishes that sentence, don't you? Just saying. Here's something about a guy that uh, had a sentence, and he was a terrorist, and he went and killed American soldiers. He came back to Canada. You all know the story, I'm sure. And the prime mistake said, hey, here's a check for $10 million. And they're constantly doing this all of the time. And how could we possibly care about that? Kind of go back to guns a little bit. One or two people do bad things with guns. They want the guns removed from everybody else. But terrorists, they kill 3,000 people or more in the uh, attacks on September 11th, 2001, but, but they say that's okay. We're going to continue to bring the people in that you know, do similar acts in different countries and pay them. Again, this is your money. We are led by fools. This is time for emotion, but not from them giving us emotion so we vote for them. They're buying you. They're buying your votes. And that's not very nice. What they do with your money, it's obscene. Last year, for instance, the prime mistake of Canada gave money to Libya, Pakistan, billions of dollars, Mexico, Russia, Haiti, Jordan, Kenya, Sudan, the Clinton Fund. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, 600 million. I take that back, hundreds of thousands, 600 million dollars to the Clinton Fund. Really? Are you a supporter of Hillary Clinton? doesn't matter if you are or you're not, because the prime minister of your country has said, I am, and he's given your money away. 
That's kind of like going on the subway and you put your hand in everybody's pocket as you're trying to find a place to sit down. It's not something that you should do. And, and you all got to start paying attention. These guys work for you. They take advantage of you every day. We're led by fools. I can't say that often enough because we really are. They actually believe, I think, what they're doing, but it's about them. It's supposed to be about us. Let me end it today with a little bit of humor, and here it comes. A fat liberal politician, big fat liberal politician, who was approached just the other day by a homeless man who said, I have not eaten in two days. You know what the fat liberal politician responded with? I wish I had your willpower. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.